And today I have a very special guest. Over the last 20 years, he's proven he's handy with a whip, a laser gun, and a dab hand with a hammer. He's played the most memorable characters of all time and heroes to millions of children across the world. He's here in London promoting his new film, Air Force One. He's cool, the film's cool. He's, of course, Harrison Ford. Hi, Hi Harrison. Lee. How are you? Nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. Could you tell me what Air Force One is all about? Because to many people, they're going to see it as just another action movie, like uh -huh. big special effects, you know, big set pieces. Could you tell me what Air Force One is really about? Well, it's about all that. It's a, it's a very entertaining film, but it's, uh, it's also the story of a man's devotion to his family and his, um, his uh, uh, will to overcome very difficult circumstances through using his wit and his uh, whatever physical uh, uh, prowess he has. Right. Um, uh, but he's faced with a very difficult situation. His, his uh, plane's been taken over by, by terrorists and his family and his staff are captured and um, uh, the terrorists are vowing to uh, execute a hostage unless their leader back in Kazakhstan is uh, released from jail. If this was to really happen, mm -hmm. in your eyes, which president do you think could deal with it as well as James Marshall did? <laughs> Maybe Teddy Roosevelt. I don't know that there's a that there's a, a president that uh, that there's been a president that we know of uh, in recent times that uh, would be adequate uh, to this situation. It's pretty uh, unusual resources that this president has. <laughs> so I don't. I you know I'm I'm not saying that that that. Um, a lot of um, recent presidents don't have a lot of these attributes, but all of them together, maybe not. With many of your films, special effects plays a big part. When does it, special effects sort of make it harder? Well, I'll tell you, in this film, uh, special effects are really only used to create reality, uh, realistic circumstances. Mm -hmm. They're not uh, uh, dinosaurs or bizarre space effects or anything. It's uh, they're just used to help put the camera in a place that might be more expensive or more difficult to, uh, to put it in reality. Now, would you suggest in, um, Air Force One as an in-flight movie from America to Russia? <laughs> you think no, that? I don't think it would. No, why no. not? Huh? I mean, it is only a film. Yeah, but I don't think there'd be a lot of airlines that'd be playing it, uh, right. upsetting their passengers. <laughs> More from Mr. Ford later, next up on Cinemania. Air Force One is a story of the USA's president's high top security plane being hijacked by Russian terrorists. I will execute the hostage every half an hour. With hostages being killed every half hour, this is the choice of the president whether to save his own life or to save the life of his wife and child. I'm not leaving without my family. I recommend this film to keen Harrison Ford lovers and action movie fans. I give this film a smashing 9 out of 10. We seem to be experiencing some problems. The plane's going out of control. Mayday! Mayday! Harrison, being a sex symbol now, What's the craziest, <laughs> craziest thing a woman's done to get your attention? I mean, I know your wife's in the audience, but I mean, you can tell me. Seeing as we're old chums. You know, I don't think that I've, uh, I've ever uh, seen a woman uh, uh, behave in, in a really bizarre way uh, to get my attention. Never. Never. Never had a woman like that. Hey! You know? Never. Never, never attracted that kind of uh, interest or attention. Have you ever had any injuries? Back injuries, knee injuries, shoulder injuries, that sort of thing. Knocked out my teeth uh, uh, when I was uh, a young actor doing a gun smoke. I fell, uh, and my gun bounced off the ground, and uh, it bounced off the ground. Well, I was shooting out the window at the at the sheriff, and then good guy came down the stairs, and I turned around and shot at him, and he killed me, and I bounced into the wall and fell on the floor, and the gun bounced off and knocked out, uh, bounced up and knocked out all my teeth. Right. Um. So I got new, better teeth. Better teeth. Well, straighter. <laughs> straighter. Whiter. Nashes. That sort of thing. 
You're very trendy, I can see the, the earring. Oh, I am very trendy, well, yes. What's, what's the earring all about? So I want to get my earpiece, but I'm, I mean, I'm too scared. You are? I am. I don't like pain. <laughs> There's no pain involved. Uh, trust me on that. Really? So yeah, it's over like that. Do you like the haircut? Yeah, I love it. It's great. What does it say? Come on, it says me. AFO, and how long does it take uh, to grow out? Um, oh. words, how long will it be before it says something else? <laughs> something else? No, this is a one-off, just for you. Harry. Yeah, I know. Harry, you don't mind me calling well, me? No, no, you call me anything you want. <laughs> but it'll grow out in a couple of weeks, won't it? Yeah, it should do. It's yeah. actually, um, you know, Giovanni took you around, he actually yeah. carved he it, did it into the back oh, of Oh, well done. Yeah. Cool. I want to know a bit about you, Harrison, because you don't actually like doing questions and interviews with the press. Can you explain why is that? Well, that's the reputation I have for some reason, but it, the fact is that I've always been uh, willing and, and uh, uh, willing to do that. Uh, the only times that I do it, though, are when I'm, uh, when I'm promoting a film, because I'm not really interested in being in the public, except uh, on those uh, occasions when I have something to, to bring to their attention. Would you like to have a go at our controls, Harrison? Oh, I don't know. Uh, has anybody test flown it before? I don't think so, but I think we can give it a try. You know, when I first uh, uh, was introduced to the cockpit of, uh, of uh, the Millennium Falcon, the, the spacecraft that I flew in, er, in um, Star Wars, uh, no one knew how to fly it. The, no one. the director had never thought about how to fly it. The art director who built it never thought about how to fly it. So there was nobody to give me instructions. So you improvise? I improvise. I guess I'll have to do the same here. We'll have to do that. It seems a shame to have to turn my back to the camera. It is, but it's OK. All right. So how do we, um... Well, it looks like you'd steer with this bit, doesn't it? OK. And this looks like power, doesn't it? Mm. OK, so do you want to stop? Sure. You sure the engines are on? Yeah. No, they're very quiet. Um, well, maybe you can switch them on. I'll switch them on. Yeah. There you go. Oh, ah. there you go. I think we're off, Harrison. <laughs> I think we're off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll pull back on the handle then here. Um, Harrison. Where we go? We're about um, to run that, someone over. Huh? Does that red alert mean anything to Not, you? To me, it doesn't sound good, though. Is it? Would you like to bounce so like, to make this more realistic? Yes, it will. Harrison, I feel like you can fly. Yeah. yeah. You lied to me, Harrison. Fly, yes. That's Land. not a good start. Yeah, landing's the hard part. I know, landing is the hard part. But come on, Harrison, come on. How are we doing? Ooh. We're doing. Okay, I think we've got control of it again. Ooh. That was. You all right there? Exhilarating. Are you I all think right? it's on autopilot. Your hair's still the same. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. cool, Harrison. Thank you. You're cool, too. I enjoyed interviewing you. Nice time. And I hope you. your film does well in Britain as it did in the States. Thanks so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Harrison Ford.